All praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Chakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom, salutations to the hopeful elect to fight a good fight of faith and truth in sincerity and wholeheartedly. Shalom to the Ahwath, which is the women believers. Shalom to you. All praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Keep fucking around and find out. See, uh, last week, Elder um, from Dallas, Arvia Allah, he made a video talking about like, like Iran, you being punks right now, you know, do something. Like Israel, they keep on bombing you. They killing your leaders. When is you going to do something? Right. But right now, Israel is just keep on hitting the bee nest, you know? So all these things is going to come to a head because it's prophecy. This is why we do these type of videos. So before I play the video. Because this is what the Lord is doing. And this is what uh, this will eventually will happen. The noise of a multitude in the mountains like us of a great people. A tumultuous noise of the kingdoms of the nations gathered together. Yahweh of hosts muster the host of the battle. Uh, battle. So. You know, the Lord is the one that's bringing, you know, these nations. Well, eventually he will bring these nations over there to the valley of Jehoshaphat, as I say in um, Joel 3 and 2, which is Yahweh Shapat. So, as you see, ABC News, Hezbollah has confirmed the death of its leader, Hazan uh, Nasrallah. All right. So, yeah, like Israel kicking y'all ass over there when you going to do something. But let's watch the video, get some few scriptures and get out of here. News overseas sending shockwaves across the world. Hezbollah just confirming that Israel's strike on Hezbollah headquarters in Lebanon killed the militant group's leader, Hassan Nasrallah, and it could signal a massive shift in this war. So let's go to ABC's Marcus Moore, who's in Beirut for us this morning. Marcus, good morning. So another thing, too, like they keep on doing this stuff. They're going to fuck around and find out. And as the scripture says, the least of the flock should draw them out. So let's get this real quick. So all this activity that Israel is doing to Iran is going to eventually lead to America going to have to come on their behalf, you know, to fight with them. And that's prophecy. So it says Joel 2 and 20. But I will remove far from you the northern army. That's talking about the army of North America. And I will drive him into a land barren and desolate. That's the Saudi Arabian desert. With his face towards the East Sea, which is the Red Sea. And his hinder part towards the utmost sea, which is the Euphrates River, which, you know, dumps into the Persian Gulf. When you go look at that map. Between the Persian Gulf and the Red Sea is the Saudi Arabian Desert. That's why I said a land barren and desolate. And it says, and his stink shall come up. So the Lord is foretelling your fall. This is why the scripture said, is there any more wisdom in teeming? Because that's the wise of Esau. You know, they took Germans, because that's what um, teeming is. They took Germans, um, scientists, Operation Paperclip. You know, took uh, German scientists from Germany, brought them over to America. They the ones that uh, made the nuclear weapon technology. You know, so that's why America had the atomic bomb. And then Germany also, Russia took Germany scientists and they end up getting the atomic bomb like four years later, I want to say. So, yeah. But this is the weapon that's going to take you out. <laughs> you know, so. And it says, and his ill savor shall come up because he have done great things. You know, America, you know, they deserve the destruction that they're going to get because, oh, one, four, four, all praises to Yahweh, Bashim, I was shy. But yeah, so America have done great things. Blast me against the Lord, blast me against his people, you know, trying to enslave all of humanity. The scripture says that um, all souls are his. That's in Ezekiel 18 and four. You know, the Lord is the creator of all things, but 
leave it up to this man. He thinks he the creator of all things. He could do whatever he want with the uh, with the creation. Gio, good morning. There were more strikes in southern Beirut a short time ago as Israel keeps up its assault on Hezbollah. And it comes as we wait for word on whether Hassan Nasrallah is alive or dead. And it was a terrifying night for families caught in the middle of these airstrikes with nowhere to go. Overnight, parts of southern Beirut in flames. The IDF claiming its bombardment killed Hezbollah's charismatic leader, Hassan Nasrallah. So far, Hezbollah not commenting on the strike or whether Nasrallah was killed or injured. But just hours after the first aerial assault, Israel warned people living in the southern suburb of Dahia to leave immediately as the IDF targeted more residential buildings. And this was the scene today in central Beirut. This bombardment for... So yeah, let me get, let me get through some of these scriptures because I don't want this video to be too long, man. But yeah, so all this activity that these devils is doing over there in our land is going to bring World War III and they're going to be destroyed. So it said there, therefore hear the counsel of Yahweh that he have taken against Edom and his purposes that he have proposed against the inhabitants of Teman. Surely the least of the flock should draw them out. That's um, the small hats, the people that call themselves us. So through their actions over there, America, as we just read in Joel 2 and 20, the, the northern army is going to have to come over there. Lisa, the flock should draw them out. Surely he should make their habitations desolate with them. So the Lord is saying that the small hats and the American army is going to be desolate. All right. They're going to be destroyed. Their earth is moved at the noise of their fall. Why is that going to happen? Because America is deemed as the strongest military on the earth. And you got a lot of Americans, especially our people, think that America cannot be destroyed because because they've been the big bully of the earth all this time but the scripture says for the vision is for an appointed time and at the end it shall speak so now you know america did what it needed to do now the lord said that their sins have reached up to heaven the lord got something to say and since the lord correct the spirits of vengeance all right so that means that he used man to destroy man and that's what he's about to do to america these nations is going to destroy America. So it says, and the earth is moved at the noise of their fall. At their cry, the noise thereof was heard in the Red Sea, which is that, that right between, right between the Red Sea or to the east of the Red Sea is the Saudi Arabian desert. Behold. So, so yeah, when, when America eventually come over, right? Behold, he should come up and fly as the eagle and spread his wings over Basra. Did you know that Basra is right north of Saudi Arabia? Because modern day Basra, I mean, Basra is actually the land of Jordan. So you got, you got um, South Jerusalem, then you got Jordan, and then south of that, you got Saudi Arabia. So that's why the Lord said he's going to drive you into a land barren and desolate. It's going to start off in our land, but it, all the nations eventually... That's why the uh, when you go to Revelation 16 and 12, Euphrates River is going to be dried up for the nations to come through. All right. So it says, so he's going to come up as the eagle spread his wings over Basra. And at that day, should the heart of the mighty man of Edom be as the heart of a woman in her pains? Because they're going to come up like, yeah, we America, the proud, the few, the Marines. All right. So they're going to come up strong. But the Lord said that he's going to make them like women in that day. Because they don't even understand that this war is the end of all wars, which that's the scripture I'm going to end it on. So I'm going to get this and I'm play the rest of the video. Well, if the spirit allowed me to play the rest of the video without no scriptures coming up. So this is what eventually is going to happen. So right now they're fighting against Iran. So it says, behold, a horrible vision in the appearance thereof. From the east, where the nations of the dragons of Arabia should come out with many chariots, and the multitude of them should be carried as the wind upon the earth. This is talking about Ishmael, the so-called Arabs, that all they which hear them may fear and trouble. Also, the Carmani is raging in wrath. So right now, Israelis is having their way with Iranians right now. So something is going to happen where Ishmael is going to get involved. And then Iran is going to feel, you know, like shit, we got to get involved too. They've been kicking our ass. So they're so Ishmael and Elam, 
which is their biblical names, is going to team up together. Carmanians, uh, that was their ancient name. They changed their name. Well, their ancient name is really Elon, but then they changed it to the Carmanians. In 1935, they became Iran. So it says, also the Carmanians, Raging and Wrath, shall go forth as the wild boars of the wood, and with great power shall they come and join battle with them and shall waste a portion of the land of the Assyrians. So yes, over there, they're going to be destroyed. All right. In that geographical location. All right. Who is the modern day Assyrian? Esau Edom. Just like he's the modern day Babylonian. He's the modern day Egyptian. America is the great melting pot of gods. All right. They took all the ancient gods and stirred it up in a, in, in a gumbo pot, all right? And that's why you got so much enchantments and witchcraft and sorcery and wickedness in this land. That's why the Lord said that the, that the wine has spread into the four winds of the earth. Thousands of families out of their homes. Many went to shelters, others went to be with other families. But then we see many who have ended up in the streets of Beirut. Abdul Rahman Azu told us he evacuated his family from their home at three o'clock in the morning. How much time did you have to, to run, to leave? He said they got the warnings to leave, and within 10 minutes, the bomb started falling. He's so, yeah, man, uh, Israel, he's dead. Hey, hey, they just fulfilling prophecy. I love all of this. The Lord is on his way back, man. Everything that the Lord promised is planned before our eyes. Yahweh of hosts has sworn saying, see, he has sworn and the scripture say that he is bound by his word. Surely as I have thought, so shall it come to pass. As I have proposed, so shall it stand that I will break the Assyrian in my land. Ain't the modern day Assyrian, the Edomites in our land. And upon my mountains, tread him underfoot, then shall his yoke depart from off them and his burden depart from all their shoulders. So when this devil fall, that's when the Lord have broken the yoke of this devil from off of us. Because after that, our kingdom come, which is the scripture I'm um, ending on. And it says, this is the purpose that is proposed upon the whole earth. And this is the hand that is stretched out upon all. All nations can remember the Lord said he's driving all these nations over there to fight, to kill each other on our behalf. That's in uh, Joel 3 and 1 and also Haggai 2 and 22. For Yahweh of hosts have proposed and who shall disannul it and his hand is stretched out and who shall turn it back. So when the Lord proposed something, it's going to come to pass. Remember, the Lord said his word should not go out void. Isaiah 55 and 11. For he and his kids are safe, but he doesn't know what they will do next. In just one week, more than 100,000 people have been displaced. The death toll this morning from Friday strike at 6, with more than 150 injured, but the numbers are expected to rise, according to the Lebanese Health Ministry, as rescue teams sift through the rubble, searching for any survivors. This morning, Israel claiming they're targeting Iranian-based weapons belonging to Hezbollah, some of which they say are stored beneath civilian buildings in the city. Hezbollah exploits and endangers Lebanese civilians using them as a human shield for its weapons. The U.S. said it had no involvement in the attacks. I can tell you the United States had no knowledge of or participation in the idea of action. And just before the attacks Friday, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu... Now remember, America is in Israel back pocket. America uh, jump when Israel say jump. All right. It's not the other way around. Dismissing the U.S. plan for a ceasefire. Don't let Nasrallah drag Lebanon into the abyss. We're not at war with you. We're at war with Hezbollah, which has hijacked your country and threatens to destroy ours. And this man is diabolical, right? He been he he ain't ceasefiring. Remember, remember when this first started? He was talking about it need to, uh, a ceasefire need to happen. He talked about ain't no damn ceasefire. See the Lord have a spirit on him to bring forth World War Three. Hassan Nasrallah led Hezbollah since the, the early 1990s, and uh, the 64-year-old was a, really a major figure here um, in, across the Middle East. And so his death 
uh, if indeed that has happened, would mark not only a major turn in this war, uh, but Janae, a major shift in the tone for an entire region. Would be extremely significant. Marcus, thank you for your reporting. Breaking news over. So, to end it on this. So after all of this, right, when World War III is at its height, bombs dropping, America falling, nations is killing each other, and they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, come up hither, let's talk about the elect. They ascended up in, in heaven in a cloud, and their enemies beheld them. And at that same hour, because of the remnant of the nations that are alive, is going to shoot missiles on this place. So that's why the Lord's going to have to get us off the earth before that time. And at that same hour was there a great earthquake and the tenth of the part of the city fell. All right. So wherever that first missile going to hit in that in Babylon the Great, then the rest is going to follow. And, and in the earthquake were slain of men 7,000, which means a completion. Seven um, in certain contexts means completion. And the remnant were affrighted and gave glory to the most high of heaven. You can read Ezekiel, I mean Revelation 15, standing on the sea of grass, uh, standing on the sea of glass, which is over the firmament. And it said the second wall. See right here, the second wall was passed. World War II ended what 1945. So yeah, the second wall was passed, and behold, the third wall coming quickly. This is the time that we are in. And guess what? And the seven angels sounded, which means seven means completion, right? So the seventh trump. It's when the missiles drop. The seven angels sounded and there were great voices in heaven saying the kingdom of the world are become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Hamashiach and he shall reign forever and ever. So, yeah, man, all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. We almost out of here. Keep fucking around and finding out. Shalom.